Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'll be showing you how to construct a rectangle giving the length and the width. I will now go ahead and border my paper. Now a rectangle is a quadrilateral that consists of four sides. Two sides are always equal in length. So the rectangle consists of two long sides equal in length and two short sides equal in length. The rectangle also consists of four internal angles that are 90 degree angles. A rectangle also consists of four edge. I will now construct a rectangle where the length is 100 millimeters and the width is 60 millimeters. I will now draw my line AB. I will outline my 100 millimeters for clarity's sake. I will now label my line AB. I will now open my compass to a small convenient radius and with the center at B, I will scribe a semicircle from the AB line. What we are now doing is that we are preparing to construct, a, to, we are preparing to bisect this line. So the AB line ex, with the extension, we are bisecting this line to pass for the line to pass through point B. I will also construct a semicircle with our compass center at A. I will now open my compass just a little more and I will scribe arcs using this point, this point above and below B to intersect with each other. I will do the same using this point and also this point.
I will now draw a line from the intersection of the arcs through A to this other intersection. So from both intersections, we will draw a line. I will now open my compass to 60 millimeters. 60 millimeters is the width of my rectangle. I will put my compass at point B and scribe an arc to get point D. I will also put my compass at point A and I will scribe an arc to get point C. I will now draw a line from point C to point D. I will now outline my required rectangle. I now have a rectangle where BD and AC are parallel to each other. AB and CD are parallel to each other. The parallel lines are equal in measurement to each other. This was method one. I will now construct a rectangle of same dimension, length 100 millimeters and width 60 millimeters. I will draw my construction line and then identify my AB 100 millimeters. I will now outline my 100 millimeters for clarity's sake. I will now label my line AB. I will now construct a perpendicular at B, which is a 90 degree angle. I will open my compass to a small convenient radius and scribe a semicircle from the AB line. I 
I will now open my compass just a little more and I will use, use this point and also this point as center for my compass. Now where the arcs intersect each other, I will draw a line to point B. I will now open my compass to the width of my rectangle and the width is 60 millimeters. I will put my compass at point B and scribe an arc to intersect this line. Now where the arc intersect this line, I will use it further on to scribe another arc over this side. I will also put my compass at point A and scribe an arc. The compass is, is still set to the width of this side of the rectangle which is 60 millimeters. But before I scribe the arc over this side, I will identify my point D. With the compass at 100 millimeters, which is the length of AB, I will scribe an arc from point D to intersect this arc which will give me point C. I will now draw a line from point C to point D and from point C to point A to give me my required rectangle. I will now outline my rectangle. This was method two. They both give us rectangles. So AB and CD are equal in length and are also parallel. CA and DB are equal in length 60 millimeters and are also parallel to each other. All internal angles of a rectangle measures 90 degree.
Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.